Okay, so today we are going to focus on multiplying and dividing decimals by powers of 10. So before we start, I'm going to go ahead and have us kind of review. So right here we have 10 squared or 10 to the power of 2. So what that really looks like if we were to write it out is 10 times 10. And so if we were to do 10 times 10, that is going to equal 100. And you'll notice the amount of zeros are also the amount of zeros in our problem and also the number of the exponent. We come over here to this next problem. We have 10 to the fourth power, which is really 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And I have four of them, one, two, three, four. When I multiply those together, I have four zeros, which is 10,000. Again, the amount of zeros here is the same number as our exponent. So something just um, to remind you guys that we've done in the past. Okay, moving on. So what we're doing now is we're taking a number that has a decimal in it and we're going to multiply it and then later divide it by a power of 10. So right here I have 6 and 3 tenths. When I multiply it by 10 squared, like we saw before, that's really multiplying it by 100. So I am getting bigger multiplying by 100. So when I do that, I actually take my decimal point and I move it once and I move it twice. So my answer is 630. So 6 and 3 tenths times 10 to the second power is 630. When I come down to the next one, I have 6 and 3 tenths times 10 to the third. So now I'm really multiplying by 1000. So I'm going to take this decimal point, I'm going to move it once, twice, three times. So now I'm going to fill in those placeholders with zeros. So my answer equals 6300, zero, zero, which is really 6300. What you're doing is you're moving the decimal point. So when my decimal point was right here, showing that I had a tenth, my decimal point is now at the end, but really it's point zero. So you don't have to have it there, but to show you what that looks like when we're multiplying and dividing, what we're doing is really changing the place value and moving that decimal point. So now I have six and three tenths times 10 to the fourth. So I'm going to write it over here so we can see it a little bit better. So now I'm going to get bigger. Remember I'm multiplying, getting bigger to the fourth power. One, two, three, four. And I've moved that decimal point right here. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in those spots with zeros. So my answer now, that's my comma, is 63,000. And again, I could have my decimal point at the end, point zero. Last but not least, I have 6 and 3 tenths times 10 to the fifth. So I'm going to go ahead and write this out here for us. And now I'm getting bigger by 5, moving that decimal point 1 two, three, four, five, and my decimal point ends up right here. You can fill these in with zeros. And if I were to rewrite this, six, three, zero, 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 zero. So 630,000. And again, I really have a decimal point now that I've moved to the end, which is left with point zero. So when we get bigger, when we're dealing with decimals and we're getting bigger by multiplying, you are going to move that decimal point, and if you've noticed, followed all along, you're moving that decimal point to the right. And that's just something to remember. All right, now we're going to come down here and continue, except for we're going to do the opposite. We're going to get smaller. So I'm dividing. So it's the same concept as we did before. So I'm going to go ahead and write this. 2 and 4 tenths. And now I'm getting smaller by 2. So I'm going to take that decimal point that's right here, and I'm going to move it one time smaller and another time smaller. I'm going to fill in with a 0. So I have 0 and 24 tenths, hundredths, thousandths, 24 thousandths. All right, I'm going to come down to my next example. I have 2 and 4 tenths, and again I'm getting smaller by 3, move that decimal point, 1, 
two and three, running out of room here, fill that in with zeros. So my answer is decimal point zero, zero, two, four, or a zero in, here's your tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. So zero and 24 ten thousandths. Coming down to our next one. I'm getting smaller because I'm dividing by how many. Move that decimal point four times. One, two, three, four. Fill those in with zeros. If I were to rewrite it, decimal point zero, 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 two, four. Finally, we have two and four tenths, and we're looking, we're getting smaller by how many? By five. It's gonna be a very small number. So again, I'm taking my decimal point and I'm making it smaller five times. One, two, three, four, five. And so my decimal point goes right here, and I'm gonna fill in those places with zeros. So if I were to rewrite it, decimal point, one, two, three, four zeros, 24. Very small number. So what we've learned here, as we get smaller and we're dividing, we're gonna move that decimal point to the left. Okay, so what I have down here for you are some lesson practice problems. So if you wanna go ahead and pause the video try them yourselves, then hit play to see if you got your answers correct. All right, and here are your answers. Remember, if you were multiplying, you were getting bigger. If you were dividing, you were getting smaller. And then always check to see what, how many times you're moving that decimal point by looking at your exponent. Remember, you're not just adding on zeros, you are moving the decimal point to its new location. So at the end, if my decimal point ends up here, then I am finishing with a zero at the end.